we had to make a pit stop at Walmart, you know, to get some essentials. And as we're coming out of the store, 1030 at night, um, we, 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 Sarah and I discovered this and I had to immortalize it because this was an oh honey sort of moment. Oh, sweetie, what have you done? Yeah. Oh, 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 sweetie. <laughs> Now, on the one hand, I appreciate being geeky and doing geeky kind of stuff, and that's cool and whatnot. Yeah. On the other hand, you have made a disaster of this, okay? I get what you were going for. In fact, you know what? If he had just stopped with the Superman insignia on the hood, yeah, that would have been cool. That would have been pretty cool. But he went a little too far. He went a lot too far. Yeah. Both sides of the car. And the rear, plus all those pictures of Superman all over that. Hello, copyright. And like, they're not placed in a particularly aesthetic fashion. Oh, like, they're placed where they ha just fit. Where they fit, yeah. And what the worst thing, the part about this that just tore at my soul was the rims. The red and blue rims. Which are alternating colors on yeah. opposite sides. Which is really more Harley Quinn. Uh, like, that should be on your girlfriend's tricked-out Harley Quinn car. I mean, you know, I, I have no problem with being a freaking dork. How many of us do, do have never had a dorky freaking uh, license plate or, or um, uh, bumper sticker on your freaking... I've done that. I, I have a sticker on my car that says Mother of Cats. And uh, Dan, Dan took my car to get the oil changed, and he pulls up to the guy, and the guy's like, you don't look like the mother of cats. <laughs> I have had to restrain myself from purchasing one of those chrome Autobot symbols to put on my car. You know? I also have an Ireland Euro sticker. And because I have friends who are internet nerds, the Euro abbreviation for Ireland is IRL. Hmm. So it looks like my car is labeled that it is in real life. But yeah, it's 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 not the geeky part. It's the lack of design. It's the Yeah, it's the ugly part. You you're just you, you I got what you were going for, but there was a point you should have stopped. I mean, he even has the Superman written above the visor, and that's kind of cool with the, with the Superman above the visor and the logo on the on the hood and maybe on the back. Okay. It's just the random haphazard Pictures of Superman all over. I feel like it would look better if the car was blue. Maybe. Like, if that car was blue and just had the Superman insignia on the hood, that shit would be hot. But oh. you didn't want to pay for a paint job, and then you just... It looks like a teenage boy's trapper keeper. You know what the first thing I... The, immediately the first thing I thought of? Let's see if I can find a picture of it. This. Oh! That's the first thing I yeah. thought of. And yet, somehow, it's less cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, if he had just done that, it would actually have been cooler. Yeah. All right. Oh, well, enough enough about this, this guy. Bless his heart. He tried. God help us if that dude, like, happens to see this. Hey, who the f*** is talking about my f***ing car, man? My car. I'll find you. The f*** is talking about my f***ing car, man? F***ing car is f***ing cool, man. All right. And now that we've provoked some poor bastard out there in the world. I have like a big orange stripe down the side of my video. No, I fixed it. Oh, okay. I have a lag also. Okay. All right, here we go. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out on the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call... What the fuck is wrong with you? And it is, of course, the week after Splody Day. Yeah, so you'd never know it because they're still blowing shit up. Big bada booms. And every year, we are never at a loss for 4th of July shenanigan stories. No, because people are dumb. This one comes to us from Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta. I promise I will never do that again. I read on a 
that that marks you as a ter- tourist right away if you say that. <sighs> I just did it again. I swore I wouldn't. Yep. Teens arrested for allegedly setting off fireworks inside Barnes and Noble. Teen has turned himself in after police allegedly uh, to police after allegedly setting off several fireworks inside a Barnes and Noble bookstore in Atlanta. Atlanta police say officers called the store after reports of gunfire. Because it sounds like that. When officers arrived, they found out that fireworks had been set off inside the store. Minutes later, officers were called to a similar lo- situation at the Rag O Rama, located on Euclid Avenue. I don't really want to know what they sell there. I'm just saying. I gotta think fabric. I like a fabric store. Yeah, but that's not the best name they had there. Oh, it's not. It's Sec- a very southern name, though. Security officers told police they observed two men setting off fireworks inside the store and they were asked to leave. That's one of those things like, hey, you need to go now. Yeah. There's not a lot. It's like, really? It's That's all? A fabric store, because you're going to burn that fucker down. I mean, they're just going to be like, you need to leave. That's it? Not like, get the fuck out of the. Fu- you, need- you should go now. Uh, investigators recognize one of the suspects upon contacting him. The suspect turned himself into DeKalb County Jail. That's bad when the police know you by going, hey, that's that's Earl. Let's go round up Earl. That's Jim Bob's sister's roommate's boy. Uh, the other suspect is on the loose. If you have any information on either incident, you're asked to call Atlanta police. So if you're in the Atlanta area and you know about this schmuck, please call the police. What the fuck? When I used to work at Old Navy, we used to have teenagers come in and set off stink bombs in the store. Okay, that's that's bad. It sucked. But this is worse because because it's fire and explosions. Yes. What does paper and fabric have in common? They're flammable. Very flammable. I mean, yeah, I know Barnes & Noble has expanded to, like, Funko Pops and shit, but it's still 90% paper in there. Also, Barnes & Noble at any given time is usually full of children. Yeah. Like, they do children's reading groups and stuff. But also, just don't fucking do that. Why? It's, Why are you a dick? You don't know, do it. It's, it's like we, have, we get a good thing. We get a neato thing like fireworks. And then we ruin it. You know what the worst part is? Like, when we were kids, we had to do stupid shit to amuse ourselves. We did! The damn kids today, you probably have four video game systems in your house. You probably have a Razor scooter. Like, you have so much shit that you could be doing. When I was a kid... trying to burn down the Barnes & Noble. When I was a kid, I got so bored, I stole all of my mom's perfume samples, dumped them on a G.I. Joe in a bowl, lit it on fire, and put it in a microwave. (laughs) <laughs> I was fucking bored. I used to mix all the sugar and the salt together and then put them back in the sugar bowl. <laughs> and then my dad would make his tea and <laughs> Okay, that's you were the devil. That that you were the actual fucking devil. <laughs> that's yeah, awesome. When he got nice salted tea, he was not amused by that at all. Uh, speaking of kids have are th- th- things to amuse themselves, I noted something earlier on Twitter today, and it remains true, and that is, of the past nearly over a decade, it's at least at least 14, 15 years we've been doing what the fuck is wrong with you, um, of all of those years, some of the absolute worst stories are about people trying to do stupid shit for YouTube. Yeah. And this one, Jesus Christ Almighty. (laughs) Forsyth teens arrested for kidnapping prank. Authorities say two Forsyth County teens have been arrested and charged in connection with an alleged kidnapping prank that drew a large law enforcement presence to the collection in South Forsyth. Ava Coleman, 17, and Christopher Jones Kratzer, 19, old enough to be charged as an adult, have been charged at the Forsyth County Sheriff's Office with felony counts for raising a false public alarm, 
misdemeanor counts of reckless conduct, according to Rainwater, uh, Corporal Doug Rainwater. Uh, on Wednesday, July 3rd, the two teens allegedly stayed an elaborate prank that they intended to film and upload to social media, in which Coleman would be tied up in the back seat of an SUV screaming for help as the vehicle circled through the shopping center's parking lot. Approximately 6 p.m., the uh, Forsyth County 911 Dispatch Center began receiving multiple calls from people at the collection who witnessed the incident and believed it was an ab- active abduction. Caller stated the female's hands appeared to be bound either by handcuffs or zip ties, and her head was covered by what appeared to be a pillowcase. Reports state the vehicle was driven by a Hispanic male, and the woman was heard yelling, quote, He is going to kill me. Rainwater said that eight Forsyth County patrol cars were dispatched to the scene, along with five officers from Johns Creek Police and an off-duty Gwinnett County police officer who was already in the area. What the fuck were you thinking? That's a good way to get your friend shot. No shit! That's a good way to get your friend fucking killed. And, he, you know, we have a whole lot of problem with police these days. I know this. But this would have been fucking justified because, hello, you were trying to kidnap someone for all they knew. That is a deadly force situation. What's funny? About, like, pranks are supposed to be funny. Right! What was it? it was, like, hilarious to look at the people freaking out and being What's concerned the for their fellow man. Right, like, where's the funny? This, I mean, Jesus Christ, they are so lucky no one is dead. Yeah. You are. Especially, inc- like, people are going to get mad because I'm going to go there. The YouTube comments are going to be a mess. But this is a white girl that they think is being kidnapped by a brown person. Oh, shit, yeah. In That's Forsyth County, Georgia. In Forsyth County, Georgia. It's a good way to get your friend shot. Just, I didn't, but st- why would, on God's green, no! I don't understand why that's prank. We're going to stage a crime so people will look concerned and scared. I know. It's it's one of those things where this is, you, you are provoking a sympathetic response in your fellow humans, and that's funny. At some you. point, the fucking internet decided that having empathy made you a fucking loser like oh my god you had a feeling (laughs) Uh, liking things is not okay liking things is off the table and having feelings about things is completely not okay and if you do either of those things you're apparently a fucking loser and to that i say no it's it's the sociopath's world we're just living in it except fuck that (sighs) <sighs> All right. You watched the new Jurassic World movie the other night? I don't know if you've seen that movie. Yeah. It's fucking animal abuse, the movie, and I did not appreciate it. There's like a scene that felt like it was about half an hour long of a brontosaurus on a dock that's burning and he's just crying. And that scene goes on forever. And like, why? <laughs> why do I have to see the herbivore dinosaur die slowly in a horrible fashion? Because fuck you. Well, we have even more. Oh, we're Florida, obviously. Um, this is not something we haven't seen before, this next story. However, <laughs> there's, there's a little cherry on top of this one. Um, man tries to steal car from jail parking lot. Oh, honey. Minutes after being released from custody, a Florida man sought to steal numerous vehicles, numerous, in a jail parking lot because he needed wheels to, quote, use for transportation. Dennis Libinati, 68, was free. It wasn't a real dinosaur, Tara. Go away. Yeah. Was was freed Monday evening from the jail in Lando Lakes after his sentencing earlier in the day for battery. Uh, Libinati pleaded guilty to misdemeanor charge and was sentenced to 265 days of probation in order to attend anger management classes. Libinati had been locked up since his arrest in mid-March. And here's the cherry on top. The court complaint refers to the jail, which is the... (laughs) 
the Lando Lakes Detention Facility as the LOL Detention Facility. LOL. According to police, upon Luminati's release around 10.30 p.m., he entered a restricted area of the jail parking lot and attempted to enter 26 vehicles, all of which were locked. Wow. If at first you don't succeed, try to get arrested again. I mean, I guess, like, if you get let out of jail and you don't know anybody who can give you a ride and you don't have money for a cab, you're kind of fucked. That is a bad situation to be in. This isn't this. I don't know what the solution is. I do. I do. Walk your ass to a bus stop. Yeah, something. Just put Don't one, try to steal 26 cars. 26. Surveillance cameras recorded Libinati accessing the bed of a pickup truck used by the sheriff's office. He was also spotted spending several minutes at a Kawasaki Mule ATV. He tried to steal an ATV. Anything. When cops confronted Libinati at the uh, parking lot, he reportedly confessed to attempt at entering the vehicles, quote, with the intent to steal one for transportation. He also admitted to trying to hotwire the ATV. Libinati was returned yesterday to the LOL detention facility. LOL detention facility. He was charged with 27 auto burglary counts. Yeah, just because this is something you need to understand. Just because you don't succeed in stealing the car. Attempted is a thing. Attempting to steal the car is still... People forget that a lot. They're like, well, it didn't work. Nobody got, nobody died. Attempted murder is a thing. Yeah, it's, it's attempt. You're not, you're not allowed to try. Like, just because you suck at it doesn't make what you did okay. He just looks so surprised. Doesn't he? <sighs> yeah. 68 years old. You know what? I got to respect the hustle at 68. Because, come on. He he tried 26 times. But he didn't give up, is the thing. That's true. If at first you don't succeed, try, 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 try again. Just keep trying until they throw your ass in jail. Yep. Oh, the lol detention facility. That's unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. Uh, oh, here's... this is even. Do all, the, do all the uniforms just have a little laughing emoji on him? <laughs> instead of, like, a shield? Oh, this, is, this is even more unfortunate. Um, I like zoos. I like animals. I like kitties. However, boundaries. Boundaries is is kind of important. So, you have to learn not to violate those boundaries. Unfortunately, this dude did not. Man drunkenly broke into center, tried to play fetch with Bobcat. Oh, a Bobcat will fuck you up so bad. Police in Tennessee say a man told officers he drunkenly broke into a nature center and tried to play fetch with a bobcat, accidentally allowing the creature to escape. Times free press report 21 year old Caden Malia must turn himself in over to the county jail by July 14th. Affidavit says Malia broke, told police he had been drinking when he broke into Chattanooga's Reflection Riding Arboretum at Nature Center. He then used a rock to break into Evie the bobcat's cage and tried to play fetch with her, but she escaped. A skinnier and slightly wounded Evie was later returned to her cage. Oh, She is okay. Mm-hmm. Malia was arrested, cited in lieu of an arrest on charges of criminal trespassing and vandalism. Authorities say a second person may have been involved. Bobcats are not kitties. No, they will. They're they're cute. They're about they're about they're Grady's of almost bobcat size. They're about kitty size, but they're kitty size bags of murder. Yeah, they are not domesticated at all. They will fuck you up. They are like if you took a tiger and made it little. Yeah, and didn't tell it that you made it little. 
like professional nature people don't fuck with bobcats. No. They're little balls of rage because they know they're too small. And they're angry about it. <laughs> they have all the murder of a lion in the size of a small dog. <laughs> and they're mad. Wouldn't you be? Yes. I would be furious about they don't want to play with you. They may want to play, but that's a prelude to tearing your face off. And that's the thing, like, even with a house cat, all of their play is simulating hunting. Yes. The wand toy is simulating hunting a bird. Like, it's all about simulating hunting and killing things, because that's what they do. Yes, when, when Grady grabs my hand and bites at it, that's the instinct to attack another, to tear the throat. To out. rend flesh yes. and eat it. Except bobcats don't, st they go the full, full, whole way. Right. They, they don't stop they and go. No, they, they go through. And yes, like it's fairly domesticated because it lives in a nature preserve and like it came back skinnier. She came back skinnier because she probably doesn't really know how to survive yeah. in the wild because she has, but that doesn't mean she's nice. No. I mean, domesticated is a very specific category. Very specific. Wild animals, you you can keep them for their for their own good or for study or whatnot, but there are very specific ways you have to keep them, and you always have to respect the fact that they are wild animals. Not break in and try to play fetch with them. No. They don't like that. They don't know you. You're not their friend. You didn't make an invitation. You didn't make an appointment. You ain't never brought her a steak. No. You probably qualify as lunch, honestly. It's like, oh, somebody sent me delivery. Because sometimes they build a relationship with the people that work at the <laughs> zoo where they live because that they, they have a positive association. That yeah. person brings them food. That person brings them enrichment toys. A person takes care of them. You don't. <sighs> You're just a big, dumb biped. Look at me. I'm a big, dumb biped. Eat me. You are an unseasoned steak. Uh, let's move on to Florida again. Jesus Christ. Um, we've had several of these cases where these fake police officers try to pull people over. People who, like, they get their own lights and their own siren and try to... It didn't work out real well for this idiot. And it's, I... Just a little schadenfreude for everybody. Um, Florida man posing as cop pulls over real deputy... <laughs> Tells him to slow down. <clears throat> Amazing. Uh, Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office said they arrested a man on July 4th who was pretending to be a cop ended over pulling over a real deputy. During the Sheriff's Office, Barry Lee Hastings Jr., 35, pulled behind an off-duty deputy from Lee County on Interstate 4 and flashed his white and amber lights. White and amber are tow truck colors. Why would you even pull over? After the deputy pulled... You gotta pulled know the colors. <laughs> After the deputy pulled over, Hastings reportedly went up to his vehicle and warned him to, quote, slow down. When the deputy asked Hastings for credentials, Hastings reportedly told him he left those back at the office and told the deputy to follow him back to the, quote, station so he could show them to him. How did you think this was going to work out? Yeah, where were you going to take him? <laughs> um, the deputy then dialed 911 and Hastings drove off down I-4 before being stopped by another deputy. Upon searching Hastings' vehicle, deputies said they found a functional siren box along with a citizen's ban radio. Hastings being charged with impersonating a public officer. My concern is where was he going to take that cop? I Yeah, I know, right? This could have gone to like a really dark place. This honestly. could have been a lot worse. Yeah. <laughs> no, I just... it. I left my credentials at the office. At the... What? Just, it, this has become like a little mini epidemic. We've had a lot of stories of these people. I, I have some that I haven't put on the show. I get some every few weeks. Of these people who are driving around pretending to be cops and pulling people over. And they well, get. Up they, here, years ago, we had. You had the urban legend about the guys that would pull you over and murder you. 
which is why I say you got to know the lights because blue is actually fire department. If they only have blue lights, they can't pull you over. They're the fire department, well, at least up here. I don't know if it's like that everywhere, but like yellow and white is tow truck. Except it's not, they're, they're not pulling over people to kill them. They're pulling over people as a power trip. Yeah. Which is weird. Like, that's not how LARPing works. No. <laughs> if you want to LARP, there's ways to do that. There is. This is not one of them. I mean, if you want to role play, might I interest you in something called World of Warcraft? Yeah. There are options. Maybe Skyrim would be more your speed. There are things you can do. You want to drive the car? It's called Grand Theft Auto. We have many you options. Want to have somebody, get yourself a kinky mate. Like, this is not the way. This this to is work through your power fan. <laughs> I don't, it's, it's, I'm, I'm thinking of fucking Luke Skywalker. This is not going to go the way you think. No. And like, we already have problems trusting the police in this country. People don't really trust the fucking police right now. No, we don't. You don't need to make that worse. I mean, what do you think they do? Pay you for the ticket as at the car? That's not how that works. No. What the fuck did you do? Uh, I really want to know where he planned on taking that cop. Like, that fucking concerns me. Yeah. 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 And th that's the other, like, women driving alone are taught. If someone comes up behind you in the middle of nowhere, you just put on your hazards, and which is your intention to pull over. Get to a populated wait. area. Right. Because <clears throat> that could be some psycho who wants to wear your head as a hat. <sighs> We've got one final one this week from Australia. Do you remember a while back the gender reveal party that ended up in fucking fire yeah guess fucking what it happened again and this time we got video i still find it so weird that in a as we're increasingly getting away from gender binaries as a necessity we're also increasingly pushing the gender reveal party like that's a weird dichotomy to me Check, check this fucking out, guys. This this is this is crazy. Uh, police have slammed the actions of a Gold Coast driver after a gender reveal took a turn for the worse. A car fitted with special smoking tires was filmed doing burnouts on a rural road. Um, the chaos was captured by a drone. The footage seized by police. The video uh, obtained by Nine News. Blue smoke can be seen billowing out from under the car before it comes to a stop blocking the road. The remnants of the blue smoke hanging in the air. The black Holden Commodore is then engulfed in flames. Spectators help free the driver from the burning vehicle. Charge a 29-year-old Samuel Montesalvo with dangerous operation of a motor vehicle. I, what the fuck? Like, why? If the smoke turns black, does that mean you're giving birth to a shadow baby like Melisandre? Maybe. And I also feel like this is just another, like, you already have baby showers. You do. If you're Christian, you have a christening. So I feel like this is just another excuse to hit people up for fucking presents. <laughs> and make people go to another goddamn party. Uh, yeah. Like, I don't have kids. I know that not everybody has an easy time having kids. But literally, every generation of humanity has had kids. Almost everybody who has ever been on the planet has had a kid. <laughs> Mr. Fix in the <laughs> channel. Mr. Fix in the channel. Congratulations! It's a disaster! Yeah, like, it's just not that big of a deal. No. I'm sorry. Like, your kid is going to be the center of your universe, and it's going to be the biggest deal ever to you, and I get that. To everybody else, you're just another person having a kid. Yeah, I mean, who was it who coined the term sex trophies? I like that term. I don't, I don't 
don't begrudge people. Like, I don't like all the terms. I don't need that. I don't begrudge people. Have as many kids as you want. I'm not here to judge your life choices. You want to have 17 kids? You can feed them. Cool. Black. <laughs> Bronin says black smoke means they haven't decided on a new pope. <laughs> This thing where we make everybody <laughs> stop their whole lives because you did a thing that just about any human is capable of doing. Really? It's not that difficult. And same thing with weddings, honestly. Like, I, yeah. I had a big wedding the first time. The second time I was like, fuck that. <sighs> doing this for the second time. I'm not making everybody come to a party and buy me shit. Oh, just Because I found somebody who put up with me forever. Like... I mean, just, it, it's just, it, ugh. Wait. And gender reveal, like, I just don't, I don't get it, man. Just, it, and if you have to do it, if it's a thing you have to do, just get a cake that's either pink or blue. Right. You don't need fucking pyrotechnics. No. You don't need to hire the crew from Spinal Tap just to tell you the world. Those fumes probably aren't great for the pregnant lady. Point, yeah. Because apparently whoever set it up fucked it up. And the yeah. car is on fire. <sighs> what about a species reveal? That would be interesting. I mean, if I was having a litter of kittens, I would definitely make everybody have a party for me. Oh, fuck. You take out an ad in the Wall Street Times. I mean, the Wall Street Journal. New York Times. Wall Street Journal. Papers. Like, I just... And show. I know that sounds bitter of me, and I don't mean to sound bitter. Like, have your party, do your thing, but, like, it's not that big a deal, actually. People have been doing it for all of human history. It's another baby, and I'm sure it's going to be a very cute baby and bring you loads of joy. But nobody cares. You didn't get elected Pope, man. No, you didn't. No, nobody cares. Oh, great. You're having a kid that may be either one of or two or of a gender you might think until it gets old enough to tell you otherwise. And that's the other thing. Like I said, yeah. like increasingly we are as a society getting away right. from rigid gender roles. And yet at the same time, we're pushing these reveal parties really hard. And I find that such a weird juxtaposition of things like. You know, people get mad about it, but I, I can't help but feel that that whole phrase, the straights are at it again, is very justified. It is! We do dumb shit! We, it's weird. It's, it's, I don't want you pushing your gay agenda down my throat. Yeah, fuck us! <laughs> it's this late stage panic thing. Just, just deal like any other human ent entity. Just fucking deal with it. Seriously. I guess that's the first thing we learned this week. Fuck, just fucking deal with it. You're just you know? a fucking human. Right. There, there's a lot. First human alien hybrid. You're just a fucking human. There's, there's seven billion of us. It's not that special. I know you got told you're special when you were a kid. And it's not people, true. To the people who love you, you are. Right. Everybody else, you're just another fucking human. But in the grand cosmic scheme of things, you're one of a few trillion of us. All just trying to get enough air. Yeah. Um, we've learned that uh, there are healthy roleplay outfits that don't involve going to jail. Um, I said outfits, I meant outlets. Whichever. <laughs> there are also healthy roleplay outfits. That's true. They also don't involve with jail. Yeah. Um, we've learned that bobcats are very angry about being the size they are. <laughs> and they don't want to play fetch with they you. They don't want to play. Um, we've learned that if you can't steal a car, don't give up. Maybe one day you'll get there. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Um, we've learned that trying oh, to... That's a good lesson. Is, we've learned that the harder you try... To go viral on YouTube, the worse of a human being you are. Yeah. It's like it's like a ratio there. It's like the harder you try, the, the further you'll go, the worse of a person. It's 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 we need to do a study. I like, should write a paper. The internet loves cats, man. Just go viral for being nice to every cat. It's true, yes. What is when it? We, 
Who is that girl on on Twitter? Brilliant girl. I pet that dog. Love her. Fantastic. Right? Just do that. Do that. Yeah. This, and finally, we've learned that no matter what it is, we will ruin it. No matter how good it is. I, I mean, setting off fireworks inside the Barnes & Noble is like the 4th of July pineapple on pizza. <laughs>